We deployed for Arts Mark, quite excited to take part and actually push ourselves to um, improve the arts that we offer at GTS. The new model is certainly more useful. It was more of a, a tool to help um, us as staff understand what we could be doing to further um, introduce the arts into, into the curriculum. Students are becoming more and more passionate about the music that they love, um, which is great to see. Um, I sometimes just sit having my lunch uh, and just watching what's going on and there's independence in different practice rooms. I think the, the most noticeable impact that I've seen has been the level of uh, professionalism and accomplishment amongst the students. Their own expectations of their own work has increased. When I came to the school, I loved singing, but I was a bit embarrassed to do it. And then, like, the teachers got me to do the Christmas concerts. And that's really helped me to grow my confidence and just become a better person myself. Because it's one of the ways that you can express yourself. Like, most people do it through dance or singing or drama and a lot of people like to use it to become more happy and make more friends. So we're really lucky in Torrington to have the Plough Arts Centre and annually we have a school uh, show in there where we exhibit the work from the students from all year groups um, and we like to present it like a professional um, um, exhibition rather than a school's exhibition so we, we um, have everything well mounted and we spend quite a lot of time advertising the event and getting people to, to visit. This year we're really excited because we've managed to get the gallery in the town at the same time as a whole town community festival. It's going to really put the artwork out there. Well, our next steps for the future obviously to involve more staff in the CPD to um, increase the level of creativity um, that we have across the curriculum. Um, uh, to continue to commit to the community and the outside artists and practitioners that we have coming in and obviously to, to um, kind of formalise the impact of the arts and prove um, its worth. So what worries me as an educationalist is that music and the performing arts is, is being marginalised uh, by, by massive cuts to, to education and I think it's going to be counterproductive in the long run if we completely push out the creative subjects from the curriculum it's going to have impact. We see it in case study after case study that when a school decides that they're going to put their performance subjects you know, at the top of their priority list, um, the actual, their, their other results follow. My advice I think for anybody that's getting involved in Icebark is not to be sceptical at, um, at the fact that it looks just like a piece of um, a written work, a written statement, actually it's, it's down to us as the practitioner of the school to actually action that and do something about that um, and I think it's a wonderful tool for, for, to help you realise uh, what it is that you can do, where it is that you can go. Um,